Hi everyone, it is January 14, 2015. A couple of days ago I posted a video on the BBC video of uh, BBC claiming that the Paris shooting was a false flag. And I had mentioned in that video that I was going to be posting a video on what our U.S. government considers extremists and the type of Americans that are on that list but I deleted that video. Well, I'm very happy that Michael Schneider just reposted an earlier article of his with a different introduction about the 72 types of extremists that are documented government records of the types of Americans considered to be extremists, which I will go through some of them. I won't be going through all of them. But it's a very good article, and I hope that everybody circulates it. I will link to it below. Obama declares war on extremism. Are you an extremist, according to his definition? Do you know what an extremist is? In the wake of the horrible terror attacks on the office of Charlie Hebdo in France, Barack Obama is speaking very boldly about the need to win the war against extremists, and he has announced plans to host a major global summit on extremism next month. That's when all the world leaders will be coming to DC to link arms and sing Kumbaya, just like they did in Paris. And on the surface, that sounds great, but precisely how are we supposed to determine whether someone is an extremist or not? What criteria should we use? As you will see below, your definition of an extremist may be far, far different from the definition that Barack Obama is using. And it's not just Barack Obama, it's our military, many in our government. When you do a Google search, you will find that an extremist is defined as a person who holds extreme or fanatical political or religious views, especially one who resorts to or advocates extreme action. According to Wikipedia, extremism is an ideology particularly in politics or religion, considered to be far outside the mainstream attitudes of a society, or to violate common moral standards. Extremism can take many forms, including political, religious, and economic. Please notice that neither of those definitions uses the word violence. In this day and age, you can be considered an extremist simply based on what you believe and as you will see later in the article, there are now tens of millions of Americans that are considered to be extremists and potential terrorists according to official, official U.S. government documents. When you use the word extremist, you may have in your mind a picture of ISIS fighters or the terrorists from the Charlie Hebdo massacre. But for elitists such as Barack Obama, the word extremist has a much broader meaning. In recent years, it has become a code word for those that do not have an enlightened view of the world. If your views on politics, religion, or social issues are extremely different from the liberal progressive views of the mainstream, as defined by the mainstream media and by mainstream politicians such as Barack Obama, then they consider you to be an extremist. Early in the presidency of George W. Bush, we were told that Islamic terrorists were the enemy. And so most of the country got behind the idea of the war on terrorism. But over the years, that has morphed into a war on extremism. In fact, the Obama administration has gone so far as to remove almost all references to Islam from government terror training materials. This is very important. This political correctness where you can't defend any Muslim or, or dare to say that some massacre here in the United States might have, been, might have been caused by Islamic terrorists? No. They're whitewashing all of that. But they're not whitewashing and they're rather heavy on mainstream media reporting that constitutionalists are terrorists that sovereign citizens are terrorists. All right, don't get me started. So, 
Deputy U.S. Attorney General James Cole confirmed on Wednesday that the Obama administration was pulling back all training materials used for the law enforcement and national security communities in order to eliminate all references to Islam that some Muslim groups have claimed are offensive. I recently directed all components of the Department of Justice to reevaluate their training efforts in a range of areas from community outreach to national security. That was said by Cole at George Washington University Law School. Now much of the focus in law enforcement training materials is on domestic extremists. We are being told that the domestic extremism is just as great a threat to our national security as terror groups overseas are. But exactly who are these domestic extremists? The truth is that you may be one of them. Okay, so, yes, in previous articles, this is the list that Michael Schneider shared. And you can just click on any one of these, and it will bring you to the government document that cites this, this kind of behavior or this kind of person as a potential terrorist. It's unbelievable what is happening in this country. So what are they? What, what, what? Yeah, and you can read through this entire list and I guarantee you, you'll find yourself in it. So those that talk about individual liberties, we are, at, we're considered potential terrorists. And here is the document. Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute. And you can read through it and find where it states that. Those that advocate for states' rights. We're a constitutional republic. Um, the states had equal power with the federal government. Actually, the state had more power than the federal government, but all of that has changed. So even if you just advocate for state rights, you're considered a potential terrorist. Those who want to make the world a better place. The colonists who sought to free themselves from British rule. They're considered terrorists today. Those that are interested in defeating the communists. <laughs> Those that believe that the interests of one's own nation are separate from the interests of other nations or the common interest of all nations. Well, that idea is not conducive to bringing in a new world order. Anyone who holds a political ideology that considers the state to be unnecessary, harmful, or undesirable. Anyone who possesses an intolerance toward other religions. Those that take action to fight against the exploitation of the environment and or animals. Anti-gay, anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim, the patriot movement, opposition to equal rights for gays and lesbians, members of the Family Research Council, members of the American Family Association, those that believe that Mexico, Canada, and the United States are secretly planning to merge into a European Union-like entity that will be known as the North American Union. <laughs> oh my God, do the research on that and you will find all of the documentation that the leaders of Mexico, Canada, and the United States have already signed have already signed treaties, have already signed the documents. We are the North American Union. It, 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 it makes you crazy. Um, it really, it, it's stunning how surreal our life has become. Members of the American Border Patrol, potential terrorists. Members of the Federation for American Immigration Reform, members of the Tennessee Freedom Coalition, members of the Christian Action Network, anyone that opposes the New World Order, anyone that is engaged in conspiracy theorizing, anyone that is opposed to Agenda 21. I thought Agenda 21 was just a farce. It wasn't, it, but ha, so how, how, do you, how, how can you oppose a farce? How can you oppose something that is not even happening? <laughs> Anyone that is concerned about FEMA camps, anyone that fears impending gun control or weapons confiscation, the militia movement, the militia movement, the sovereign citizen movement, 
those that don't think they should have to pay taxes. But listen to this, okay? This is, they're not saying that anyone who doesn't think they should have to pay taxes and is taking up arms against the U.S. government. That's not what it says. It's just what you think now. Your opinions, your ideas, your own thought processes render you a potential terrorist. Anyone that complains about bias, anyone that believes in government conspiracies to the point of paranoia, what does that mean? Anyone that is frustrated with mainstream ideologies. Here we are all talking about mainstream media. <laughs> anyone that visits extremist websites and blogs. Anyone that establishes website blog to display extremist views. So even if you happen upon a website that has what they consider to be extremist views, you're on that list. Anyone that is personally connected with a grievance. Anyone that suddenly acquires weapons. Anyone that organizes protests inspired by extremist ideology. But again, extremist ideology encompasses, encompasses all of these. You know, if you think that you don't have to pay taxes, if, if, you, if you're a constitutionalist, if you um, respect the Constitution and, and you're actually advocating and fighting to hold on to it, all of that, extremist ideology. Bumper stickers that are patriotic or anti-United Nations. If you're suspicious of centralized federal authority. Reverent of individual liberty. Believe in conspiracy theories. A belief that one's personal or national way of life is under attack. <laughs> Those that would insert religion into the political sphere. Anyone that would seek to politicize religion. Anti-abortion, anti-Catholic, anti-nuclear. If, if you're protesting um, nuclear war or nuclear weapons, or you're considered a potential terrorist. Anti-abortion activists. Those concerned about illegal immigration, you can, I'm, I'm going to say this again, you can just click on this and you'll go to the documents that cite it, that actually cite that if anybody has a negative view of the United Nations, you're considered a potential terrorist by our government. Okay. Um, and those that believe in end times prophecies. Wow. Well, that sure does round up a whole lot of Christians, huh? And evangelical Christians. So, please, you know, circulate this. Um, we absolutely have been taken over. I've said this before. We do have domestic enemies in our government. And they are making us now the enemy. I don't like that. I don't think any of you like that. So... There's a whole lot of Americans who are out there who are actually um, on that list and they don't even know it. So it's important to circulate the information. Thank you for watching, guys.